every year, iOS gets closer and closer to Android with customizations. It's pretty funny. Apple just released iOS 18 developer beta, which introduced even more UI customizations. Is iOS getting more customizable than stock Android? Here, I'm going to compare the iOS updates with my favorite version of Android 14, nothing OS, the best version of Android, just for fun. Let's get into it. Let's get started with the icons because a big part of the introduction to Nothing OS was the icons. With iOS 18, you can now move the icons anywhere you want on the home screen. We can now resize the apps, making them larger and take off the app titles. Long press the home screen and then click edit, then customizations. We can do the same thing on Nothing OS as shown here. Maybe Apple got some influence from Android and just a little bit of influence from Nothing OS. We can change the icon color to automatic, dark, light, or tinted. With the dark icons, only the system apps will be themed as of now. Maybe by the time iOS 18 is released to the public, developers may have this enabled on their icons, but we'll have to wait and see about that. And in Nothing OS, you can do the same thing by going into dark mode and you can change the size of the icons. You can also change the grid size. This is still something that you can't do on iOS. On iOS, when you click the dark icon or tinted icon, you have the option to make the wallpaper a little bit dimmer, which is great because I usually like to do this manually on my Android phones. On iOS, the third option is tinted icons, and this allows you to pick the exact color you want for all your icons. And I mean all your icons, every single one. And there's an option to grab the color that you want from the wallpaper. This is great. The only thing that I don't like about this is that you can only tint icons on black icons. This ones up Android a little bit because it allows you to pick any color you want. Android gives you presets, pretty good presets, but still just presets. On Nothing OS, you can use the tinted icons, which looks better here, but you can only theme the system icons. You can theme every single icon only using the monochrome setting that's black and white. You can pick an option to only have the icons themed on the home screen and leave the apps in the app jar untouched. This is what I use personally. You can't do this in iOS 18 and the app library on iOS is just trash altogether. On iOS, with tinted icons, even the color of the widget changes as well. And there's no options for you to leave the widget untouched. These tinted icons definitely look ugly, but I'm still happy and grateful for this because they're giving us the option to do what we want, even if what we want is ugly as could be. That is better than not giving us a choice at all. Nothing OS and other Android UIs gives us the ability to download custom icon packs as whole natively. This is still the best way to go about it. On iOS, we can now drag to resize widgets just like Android. Long press the home screen and drag the widget that you like. One of the biggest features still missing on iOS is that widgets are still cards and they're not transparent. So if you put a widget on the home screen, it's going to have a solid background because it's a card. We had to go through some extra deeper steps to get a clock widget with a transparent back. You'll need to download a special app of your choice. Each one of the apps will require you to take a screenshot of your home screen and it's going to use that screenshot as the background of the card, making the card seem transparent. The only problem with this is that the background won't blend perfectly unless you use sort of a solid color background. And when you start scrolling through your home screen, everything goes to hell. I tried to combat this by giving the widget a blurred background, giving it that blurred glass look, but it's still not as good as Android. This problem is non-existent on Android. This is a huge win for Android still. There's widget stacks on iOS. This is one of my favorite features that Apple has come up with. I think Android should shamelessly go ahead and copy this. Stock Android that is. Because you can stack widgets on Samsung One UI already. On iOS, you can now lock specific apps. Long press the app that you want to hide. Click require face ID. Then it will give you the option to lock the app or hide the app altogether. When you hide the app, it will go to a hidden folder in your app library. You'll be required to unlock the folder before you see anything in it. We have different variations of this on Android. 
In Nothing OS, we have hidden apps in the app drawer. To get to this, you just swipe to the side. This is not as safe as the implementation from iOS because it doesn't require a password, but you can still lock individual apps as shown here. For the lock screen, I do believe that iOS has already surpassed Android. They give us the ability to change the style of the date, the time, and add widgets. As of recently, you can do this on Android as well, but iOS was fresh to this. And it looks like Android gave us this update as a response from Apple. And the iOS lock screen style just genuinely looks better. They give us more detailed choices and the death effect for the clock looks pretty cool. On the home screen, you can add automatic wallpaper blur on iOS. This is something I would actually like to see on Android as well. You can do it manually, but it's not built in to Android. On Nothing OS, you have this atmospheric effect and glass effect, but they don't have the basic blur effect, which is something I would definitely use. On iOS, we finally have the ability to change the two shortcuts at the bottom of the lock screen. And you can even open up specific apps using the shortcuts. This one-ups Android again because we don't have the ability to open up apps straight from the lock screen. Any app straight from the lock screen. Well, at least on stock Android, Samsung does have the ability to do this. You can do this on Nothing OS as well with some simple tweaks. If you're interested, watch the video I did on that. It'll be the first link down below. We have new changes to the control center. There's different pages that we can scroll through giving us different controls. You can pick the controls just like Android tiles, but on iOS, it's a little bit more customizable because we can resize them. You can hide the nav bar on nothing OS, but you can't do this on Android as a whole. This is one of those features that I personally can't live without even though it's pretty small. You can do this on iOS too. All right, that's it for this video. So iOS just got some huge new UI tweaks, but we still don't have icon pack replacements and transparent widgets. But let's see how long it takes Apple to copy that as well. Like the video if you want to help me out. If not, that's cool. Comment down below if you think I'm tripping. Subscribe for more update videos. All right, peace.